Hello all, welcome back to this old save. Serious Lee's here, and today we're going to start uh, an old adventure once again. We're on our newest old save, and uh, something we have not done yet on this save is one thing that we have to do for ourselves. We can't just find this, uh, buy this with somebody else's Quicksilver and uh, earn it that way. No, this, we're going to go to uh, not all items, we're going to go to the not owned items. We could buy a Myth Beacon, but that's not what we're here for. We're here for the Void Egg. Yes, that's right, we're starting a living ship today. Uh, that'll probably be in the title of the video, so I'm guessing you already know that. <laughs> Uh, this will be phase one. We're going to start from this beginning and go through all the phases in order. So we buy one egg, put it in our inventory. Whatever else you're carrying doesn't really matter. Some space is what you're going to need. Some inventory space. We need, I think, five things total, five slots total, something like that. And we need patience because <laughs> you can only do about a half hour of this a day or a bit less than a half hour if we're, if we're really quick about it. There's only so much you can do. Now, if I take a quick peek, I believe, yes, we are in the Isentam galaxy on this save already. We've gone through, done all of the Artemis missions and been warped here, instead of just warping through 10 galaxies ourselves just to save us a teeny bit of time. <laughs> Uh, but we're going to have to go back to Euclid for the end of these missions, at least. Uh, but in the meantime, we can start off here, and let's... Oh, 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 did not like that. Some ships appeared right in front of me. Let's just pulse in between all those ships over there and those planets. Now that the egg is in our uh, inventory, if we pulse drive, we should eventually get a pulse drive encounter, and it will say anomalous encounter, and that's the one we want to answer. There you go, anomaly detected. Exit pulse to examine. We will do that and check it out. A living ship has popped in. Uh, let, we could take a screenshot here. We could go see if, because this ship may indeed be available in this system. That's pretty cool colors. It's got a sort of purple glow with red-ish, maybe copper red and greenish colors. Hmm, interesting. Uh, let's answer the hail, though. Because even though we do have to go back to Euclid for the last part of this mission, we still will be able to find living ships in Isentam. Uh, yeah, I actually have seen ships like this before, but not on this save. That's fair. <laughs> Continue to listen. Oh, jeez, did I shoot that thing? Oh, no. Is that good? Is that... Follow the call of the Void Egg. <laughs> Hopefully it didn't blow up. That was a full blast from Bozajon Ejector. <laughs> All right. Uh, current mission. Yeah, we're on the Egg mission. There we go. This is where we are headed. It's a two-star Corvax economy. I don't know that we're going to go to the space station here, but that's fine. We don't need to. We're going to be sent to... Actually, we need to take a look. We need to look at the Void Egg in our inventory to see where we are headed here. This gives us uh, the waypoint in our galactic map. Direct, you know, you're headed to this star system, sure. But it doesn't tell you what planet you're going to when you get here. We don't have a mission marker. We have to do some hunting for ourselves. Some figuring... Th oh, you know what? Maybe they've changed it. It, it sure looks like they've changed it. Well, this is a lot easier, isn't it? Uh, powerful anomalies and strange colors. Let's take a scan of this and see if a lost green planet. Yeah, you know what? I think they've given us waypoint markers for this mission. That is going to save us a ton of time and make this video very, very short. <laughs> Ah, well, that's uh, that's a lot easier than it used to be. We used to have to go to the planet by figuring out a riddle, like the one that shows on our egg there. We have to find a one with powerful anomalies and strange colors. So you're looking for an anomalous planet like that, Lost Green or Doomed Jade or any of those. The weird planet type names. But then when you got to the atmosphere, you would have to go, you would 
be given a set of coordinates to head to. Uh, like these kind of, whoa, what's with the terrain there? Weird. Uh, these kind of coordinates right here, whoa, right beside my radar there, plus 46, negative 141, you would have to navigate to them. Now we're just being given an approximate location. So, if I recall correctly, we are headed towards... Um, is it one of these things? Not a word tube. Yeah, that was a word tube, okay. Uh, but a plaque, an ancient plaque. So let's look around for one of those. And if that's not where we're headed, we'll look around for some other stuff. We could also get out and scan and, and do it the way it wants us to using the new visor, I guess. Well, I guess using the new visor uh, is better for some people than using the coordinate system, but I didn't find, you know, basic orienteering to be all that challenging personally. This is something that, you know, it's a millennia old technology. <laughs> You're basically finding things on a grid, right? All right, we've got a, a marker. Did we get even closer to this thing, or were we far away still? Six minutes. Approximate location is six minutes that way still. Well, what the heck? Yeah, it's too weak. Let's uh, let's keep going. Okay. There we go. What do we got down here? Anything we can see directly? Nothing that's spawned in yet. All right, let's land nice and close to that thing. Maybe the new visor will work now. It's probably gonna be up this hill. <laughs> How close are we? We are very far away still, and not even remotely in the right direction. This is the way we came from. That's... That's the way we came from, basically. Okay. See, I find this a lot more annoying than just following coordinates, to be honest. Sorry to people who find this more easy, but... Uh, this is terrible. <laughs> I am not a fan of the new visor and it telling you a random 30 degree arc to, you know, search with. I'd much rather be given a set of coordinates that shift a little bit and I gotta get near them and find something that way. I'm only a thousand units away now. I went 300 units with that. Okay, well, we are flying. I'm committed to flying. Maybe this will be a 30 minute video. <laughs> We're gonna need to go buy launch fuel. No, we got lots. Okay, it's up here somewhere. Let's look, look out for some stuff. There's a word tube on the side of the hill. Knowledge stone, as they're known. Like, I'm not seeing anything up here. But uh, let's land and give it another scan. I didn't want to. I did not want to have to jetpack up this mountain. Is that like a nice eight-legged deer? Yeah. Or is that only three legs? Maybe it's whatever. Maybe it's a twelve-legged deer. <laughs> How close are we now? That's a lot better. It's this direction. Let's head for it. Let's use the other scanner. Let's see if we can see anything. No. 280 in that direction. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything show up on the visor. All right. Yeah, there's the thing. Oh, that's a bad bounce. There we go. Now we're gonna have to do a little teeny tiny mission for this thing. 
And then we're going to be locked out for 24 hours. Archive of Corvax Prime. Retrieval in progress. Log follows. Language transfer with the non-convergent individuals, now processed, understood possible. But coexistence unavailable until the nature of non-convergent experience understood. Gek Viking 2 removed. Must be... Must with fewer variables, control required. Okay. Awaiting biogenesis materials. The ancient structure is recording a convergence activity on Corvax Prime. It appears to contain the pathway for recreating long forgotten experiment. Okay, we need consciousness bridge. So we're gonna get the recipe. Boom. Consciousness Bridge. We need Hexite, which we do not have on this or pretty much any other save. But we are going to get directed to it, which is great. Let's call in the ship. Gather Hexite. The egg has echolocated a source of Hexite. And it's over in that direction. Fortunately, on our way back to that terminal, we are going to be given a direct um, location. We're not going to have to land and search with our visor again. I suppose in the long run, that was a much shorter run than usually uh, it was for most people, searching through for coordinates, which is fine. Uh, but I like searching for coordinates. Like, why else do we have them in the game, you know? And like I said, it's pretty basic uh, orienteering skill. Just plus minus, about, it's like, you know, a globe, globe orienteering. It's not your local, uh, and these days we use GPS, so we, we don't even need to do any kind of plus or minusing. <laughs> All right, what do you got for us here? Crash trader. Can I have some Hexite, please? Please, sir, may I have some Hexite? I can, apparently. How much did I get? 400, I only need 240 or something like that. All right, now we need, uh, what did it say, a Corvax casing or something like that? Corvax casing, so let's search for a trade outpost. far away is that too far away to stay in atmosphere and are we far enough out yes we are excellent whoa these mountain planets really spawn those things in at the last second <laughs> Now, do we have to go over the next ridge, or is it down here? Looks like it's down here. There it is. Pop down to the ground so we can land. Uh, is it already on the ground? It doesn't look like it's on the ground. Uh, I guess it is. Okay. Now we just need any other ship to land. How about right beside us? Anybody? No? Uh, yeah, this guy's landing right beside us. We'll just wait for him. Eerie music on this planet. Decent weather though. We haven't had any storms yet. Uh, buy items. We would like to... I think we only need one, but let's... We don't have any apparently on us, so let's buy three. Leave. There we go. Now we have all the items on us. We can craft the thing at once. Consciousness bridge. Bada bing, bada boom. There we go. Craft consciousness bridge. Objective complete. Um... Take a quick peek around. 
No, all the ships have left already. Okay. Return to the biogenesis. Return the uh, uh, return to the ancient biogenesis structure. I don't remember it saying biogenesis structure before, but all right. And since we left the atmosphere to get here, we're probably going to have to leave the atmosphere to go back. So let's just do that preemptively. Yeah, that was that was way easier and less time consuming than I expected. So once we get back here, we're going to be given a component that goes alongside our egg. Let's just move that down here. Let's not refine it. And we'll keep all of our, you know what, maybe we'll just move it over there. And we'll keep all our egg stuff here. Okay, where are we? There it is. See, directly pointed right at it. That's excellent. So what do we get first? A beating heart or something like that? Or maybe it's the brain. I don't know what we get first. We get components of our living ship. But given that it was a consciousness bridge we made, I'm inclined to believe it might be a brain. But I feel like it's the heart first. Awaiting biogenesis materials. Insert consciousness bridge. The machine, the machine, quote unquote, accepts biogenic material. I have a, the biogenic material I have assembled for it. I hear a hum, the rumbling echo of its past experiments returning to the present. It outputs, births, a cluster of cells, some proto-tissue. What purpose did these ancient Corvax have in mind? Oh, it is a brain, fragile neural stem, a delicate web of living tissue. This is the spark that will ignite a new life form into existence. It requires careful attendance while it matter, while it matures, and <laughs> while it matters. <laughs> All right, so let's take a peek and uh, keep track of it. So let's say, what does it say here? The same thing, same thing we just read. Okay, let's take a peek at our mission log. If that would pop up, nurturing new companions is up. Well, let's just change it in the log then. We're still on star birth, okay. Allow the stem to mature. Hmm, does it not tell us how long it takes to mature? Yeah, I don't have a timer on here anymore. Oh, there we go. 22 hours and 58 minutes and 10 seconds. That's how much longer we have to wait. So I will have to come back tomorrow. Um, and film some more. Hmm, yeah, I can't really append these videos together, unfortunately. That's unfortunate. We're gonna have to do a couple of short videos. Maybe we can do one extra thing on each one, since they're gonna be so much shorter than I expected. Check out some butterflies. Well, you know, we could get that mission out of the way. Uh, let's take a peek at the saves creatures. I think I have unlocked everything in the register. Yes, I have all of the space in the world. And these are the things that I've found going along. Uh, I really like Dino Dino here. That's a pretty cool pet. And these are the procedural names, I believe. I don't think I've named anything yet. This one is super cool. But you can't ride it, unfortunately. That's why I got it, because I thought this would be a super cool one to ride. But you, yeah, it doesn't let you. I mean, I guess, I obviously. <laughs> All right, so let's look at our egg. Where, where's that at? Matter beam, oh, our ship isn't here with us. Right, right. Well, I guess we'll have to call it in then. It's telling me I have an egg, is that? Oh, no, they're right here, they're right here. There's the eggs. Companion egg. Uh, very large, biological horror. Yes, we have modified this egg. We didn't hatch it. Ooh, that looks pretty big. Feeling ravenous. Etoits. Let's give it a treat. I don't think we have very many of these. Well, uh, we don't need to pat it. It doesn't need affection. It needs more treats. Yeah, that filled up its happiness. <laughs> it's, it's <laughs> All right. Feeling primed. Let's uh, check that out in the creature menu. Since we're doing living ships, we may as well do some uh, living creatures. Uh, X, creatures, companion register. Itos, aggression 100% vicious. Now, having this creature out will 
attack other creatures nearby that just happen to wander by. It'll feed itself, basically. See? Uh, let's go over to these guys over here and see what happens. Oh, yeah. There he goes. <laughs> okay. Now let's get the hungering worm. Did I increase the size of that one? Let's find out. Uh, very large and playful. Yeah, so yes, I have created... Yeah, look how small that egg is for a very large creature. Oh, yes. Feeling empty. We'll, we'll give you a treat. Your happiness has also gone up, but we'll give you a pat too. Why not? Hiss. Hish. Fish. <laughs> and we're going to go for a ride. And we're going to let... Uh, what's the name of this thing? Ishtaeni. That's that's I don't like that one. We're gonna have to change that one. We're gonna let Ishta decide which way to go for a bit. Actually, no. Uh, we're gonna head straight back to the ship because <laughs> we're pretty much done. Down we go, and let's jump off. We. Okay, well, that is it for today. A bit of a short video. I thought we would spend longer looking for coordinates like we used to have to do, but apparently that's not in the cards anymore, which is fine. It's, uh, it's a lot easier for people. It's a lot less time consuming. I really wish we'd had shorter time gates, like maybe a one or two hour time limit on these missions, because that would encourage people to still take a break from the game, right? Go do other stuff and then come back later. You know, similar to our settlements, how we get a one uh, hour sort of wait sometimes for the next phase of our settlement to develop. We could do that on that on the save as well. We have not picked a planet for our settlement and we're in Isentam. I was hoping that this mission would send us somewhere fun and unique that we could find, but it didn't send us to a three star system and the planets here don't look that great. I'm gonna take a peek around and maybe we'll do settlements next time on this old save. So we'll try that as well. Cause uh, yeah, we need to fill up this time. If these missions are gonna be that fast, that uh, we need to fill up the extra time. <laughs> uh, but speaking of time, until next time, everybody, have a good time.